what's going on you guys? Jacob Bardoni here back for another video and today we gotta get around this semi truck so let me drop my gear. Alright, now that we have accomplished that, we're heading over to Oscar's house because we have some unfortunate news with Sabir's C606. So we're gonna have to go to a shop get some quotes and these shops apparently have some really crazy cars so I want to bring you guys along plus Oscar got a new truck which makes me very jealous but at least I'm not the first guy in our friend group with the truck so everyone's not asking me to borrow my truck my dude Oscar basically has an iPad now in built into his truck so finally using navigation I've never been one to use built-in navigation I always use my phone but apparently this is nice yeah Elon Musk worked on this one <laughs> lies <laughs> Oh, we're gunning at 500 mile break in done. You hear the wimple? <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> oh, what? Whoa. Why are there red and blue lights behind me? <laughs> so this oh, should have- because he lost. <laughs> <laughs> this should have just enough power to haul the Shelby. And uh, the tow capacity is 11,000. Oh, I think we so can, can haul, haul all of our- the 6 and the 50 Yeah, so we're all gonna be using this truck as our, our tow rig go to uh, Texas 2k this is what we're taking yeah so he's looking to possibly do some mods here heads cam intake so we're gonna get a quote and this seems like it's the right spot when there's a toter home or a toter freaking dual stacker Raptor C7 ZR1 some cars with parachutes Left foot F150. oh this guy had a flex that he had a horn now jeez and there's a donk and these donks can be super fast oh and a platinum F350 ZL1. Oh, those are nice. I like those. Jesus. Jesus. I think he's fast. See, Oscar, we gotta get you on well beadlocks. Beadlocks. Why? They're sick. I like his plate. Look at his plate. Razzers. <laughs> sick, dude. All right. Dude, look at that. Dude, I told you they're pro cars. I told you this is what they build, like pro cars. So if you guys don't know, this garage is on Street Outlaws. Like this, the owner of this is a Street Outlaw guy. So he races and there's pro cars. Like not just little street cars like us. I'm talking wheelie bars and super tubbed out wheels. Jesus. Look at the blower on that thing. Literally horsepower candy store. You can just build your car out right here. And he's got everything, Ford, Chevys. So Matt is right here. He's the owner, or part owner of one of the, the shops here. And he's gonna show us some of the builds. He's got some crazy ones. Like you could see this, look at this tire. See, we're just Mustang guys and I'm an NA guy. So, you know, I'm hovering like 400 something horsepower. These are like 4,000 horsepower, I swear to God. <laughs> this one's only like 2,000. <laughs> oh yeah, two, only 2,000 horsepower. Could you this imagine? Here, Wait, That's this is yours, right? That's 4,000? Yeah. Dude. Holy. 4,000. 4,000 horsepower? 4,000 4, yeah. horsepower. That's possible? What? <laughs> Dude, 4,000 horsepower. Got fire suppression. Yeah, and he needs nitrous. Dude. This makes us just look so little. Yeah, I'm trying just to get like 530, I'm just so tiny in the world of cars. You already know black and yellow too. It's got yeah. a match. <laughs> how long, uh, did you look, like, how many passes did you usually run? Like, that depends. This one's actually been really reliable. Um, we made it through an entire season without having to pull it out. Nice. What's then, a season? How many passes you should? It depends, you know, because we don't make every race, but you get, I don't know, 100 plus passes in. Wow, that's pretty good. That's really nice. Making numbers like that, that's yeah. pretty significant. And when it's a full race car like this, it's obvious. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on it, but it's easier to pull in and out, right? Yeah. Because you made everything cut away, so it's all mounted in easy. Yeah, so we, we build them to be easy to work on. Yeah. You don't want to be like in a 2002 Camaro where the motor's tucked up under Yeah. The yeah, you try to make it look so, make it so much easier to work on and accessible and all that. 4,000 horsepower. I don't think I've ever even seen a four, like, I've I haven't either. That has 4, I think I've seen crazy things. I watched it on YouTube once. I know, I see like, <laughs> I was like, oh, 1,800 horsepower, twin turbo, yeah, Lambo. the underground like, racing. Crazy. I'm like, wait, 4,000 is a real thing? And rear wheel drive, yeah, not all wheel drive. drive. Jesus. Flames. Look at the, and it's got pearl. Flames coming out to Pearl you. effect oh. on there. Dude. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. 
Damn. I think he came to the right spot to get some mods. I think, this is, uh, I think he knows something about horsepower. I haven't even been to any of the shops, and I'm already convinced this is the shop. Even here. if it's a little bit pricier because of all the amenities, no, just the kind of like, worth it. Just no, just the like vibe you get being yeah. there, like everything. For sure. One of the things though that Matt did like right away, I didn't want to film because I just walked in here, but he went through like what Sabir's goals are and told him basically like you don't need this, you need this. Basically, it was like very honest about like what's the goal of the car, so that way you don't just build something that you're not going to like. Because imagine you had a 4,000 horsepower Corvette, you're not going to want to drive that on the back roads. You know, that's a purpose built car. So he was very honest in that sense where he didn't want you to spend a bunch of money if you're not going to use it, you know. Now we have another million horsepower car. Uh, <laughs> cute BMF, big motherfucking turbo. So this is where all the horsepower comes from, though. <laughs> Oof. Red rag breather. Yeah, the, the breather, the crank. No crank pressure on that baby. Right. Jeez. So what was this one? What are the what are the specs on it? Uh, so it's a 417 four stroke LS3 with a baby 75 millimeter turbo. Yeah, super baby. Baby. That turbo is bigger than my Camry motor, dude. <laughs> Jeez. And what's this put down? Uh, so we haven't dynoed it yet. We just got it running. We'll have it on the dyno this evening. So I'm assuming with this setup maxed out on a turbo because it's actually small for this motor. Um, I'm hoping to see 850 wheel. Nice. 850 wheel. So 1,000 horsepower car sitting right here. Simple. Looks simple to me. But I know there's a lot of stuff in there you can't see. But I mean, it's just turbo, big LS. That's how they build them. That's how they make them fast. Oh. And now I'm gonna have to go get a single cab race truck and uh, just have to keep up with you guys. Oh, got one up there. I know, I saw that. I was looking at that. I'm gonna go buy a $4,000 work truck, put 12 into the motor. <laughs> this is actually in my spare garage. Oh, Caprice, Caprice SS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love these. Oh, is this a Whipple? 4.5. Oh, this is the new big boy. Yeah. This is the tall one. So now we have something up our alley. We got a 13, 14, 5, or GT500. Got the Bilsteins on there. Yeah. Going Whipple. This is the 5.8 motor. Yeah. So it just needs a little bit more plus for Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. You have a 5.4. I forget. I forgot that too. I forget you have a 5.4. Well, you made yours look like a 13, so I made it. I was like, oh. Like a whole rear end from 13. Yeah. 2012. Okay. Yeah. So. Fuel system we swapped, they swapped it to the 1050X. Yeah. So he's got the Recaro, see? That looks sick. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot bigger than yours, dude. Size matters. All the vehicles that we work on, we right. it's actually a boat wrap that I found oh, like a okay. lot of years ago. Oh, it's nice. Super convenient, to lay it over, and then if we have to work like bending over this. Right. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's yeah. smart. I like that. I thought that was a paint. <laughs> Jeez. So this one you'll see on uh, some of those freed outlaw shows coming up. Yeah, this one, so this one blew my mind with how big the tire was. Yeah. Like, Jesus. This is my hand. If you put all four of your focus tires next to each other, it's yeah, still not that. It's still not that. <laughs> yeah. Who said SN95s are slow? Jeez. Oh, when you were saying something about the. Full race car, caged, carbon fiber there. Full front end just comes off. I've never been around. I've never been around race cars like this. You know, you see your 700 horsepower, like Oscar's Shelby. You know, you see that stuff. This is a whole new world with all this horsepower. This is crazy. Also, you guys have been uh, hearing me talk about a truck, especially with Oscar's new truck. What if we did the It's Just a Six route and did a single cab build on an old Chevy like work truck? I know I'm a Ford channel and stuff, but this is pretty sick. And it's probably gonna put down a thousand horsepower because it's here at this garage, like. I don't know. I'm, these are growing on me, especially after seeing it's just a six and seeing his. It's got the nittos, street comps. Jeez. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Should we start getting into the race trucks and Chevys on that front or stick to the Ford and go with like an EcoBoost build, just a newer, nicer truck? But that would be super fun and super fast. Less like uh, crazy and white. I don't know why. Dude, I think these are sick. These are, no, I love these. But like for some reason, look at that carbon. Look. So much more tame. Oh, I didn't even know they exposed carbon on the hood. Yeah, they just want it. Carbon on the roof. Carbon air, even the side vents. On Jeez, the this oh, is a well. The air scoops on the side. Yeah, dude, this thing is sick. Wait a minute. Oh, you know, did you see what Bane did? He yeah, he the did the carbon on that. Yeah. I was like, dang, that's crazy. Wait, All right. Wait, who, whose ram is that? 
Get out of here. <laughs> I looked too. I know, I was like, wait, what? Dang, I might have to buy a Chevy. Look at all that horsepower. I need to start stepping my game up. Honestly, this seems like the right spot for Sabir to get his stuff done. I mean, we were gonna check out multiple shops, but this one with just like the presence and the knowledge and the customer service, it feels like you could trust your nice high-end car that you care about a lot over there and it'll come out right. So now, probably just go back to the house, edit this video up. Dude, I think I'm at like 4,500 to five grand. Just modded out the garage, got some foam pads there because this guy likes to park his giant truck. Oh my gosh, dude. Your shark antenna is so close from hitting this. I told my parents, is it gonna hit? Like, no, nah, you, you got it. It's so close. Leveling yeah, leveling kit. Leveling yeah, you won't be able to park inside. Dude, the antenna is so close. Oh, yeah, you will. You got over two inches of clearance. Yeah, easily. Right, we got plenty of room to go. Still hasn't touched. You're touching now. Uh, Jesus. You're still not in, though. Really? You think yeah. I get it? Yeah, you're good. She's good. Oh, dude, that's way more clear. That's me against that moment. Yeah, that's what it's meant for. <laughs> you, felt that, yeah. you felt it? Yeah, yeah. that's all the way in. I, just, I, feel, I feel the bone, dude. <laughs> you gotta hop out. <laughs> <laughs> New boot goofing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Done. Alrighty guys, so we're back at the office and I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video and keeping up with me. I know I didn't post too much in the last week. Honestly, with this whole lockdown and stuff, I don't want to force content or try to make something happen when really nothing's going on because everyone's stuck at home. So I just wanted to wait a little bit until I actually had something substantial to record rather than, you know, me just talking and rambling on forever. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.